Do you use the word quench? I think for the most part, the word is completely out of normal English usage, except in one situation. What do you think that situation is, and would you use it elsewhere? I got an email a while back that came out of a Bible study, and the point was, is that quench is used with quenching your thirst, but nobody would use it to refer to extinguishing something. And I think for the most part, that is absolutely right. In 1 Thessalonians 5.19, which is the verse under consideration, we have the Old English, do not quench the spirit, NIV, NASB, and ESV. Also the NRSV. It's interesting that the CSB went with stifle, as did the NLT, and the Net Bible went with extinguish. Now we get quenched from the King James and there's a tremendous amount of pressure to keep some of the famous King James language. But the point is, what does it mean to quench the spirit? I don't really think it has a meaning. It's just, you can quench your thirst, but to extinguish something, we don't use the word quench. The Greek word is spenumi, and this is begged, it means to put out, to quench in the sense of stifle or suppress. So what should we do with 1 Thessalonians 5.19? If you look at the six other uses of this word, you see some interesting things. Matthew 12.20 said, a smoldering wick he will not snuff out is the NIV, NESB extinguish, ESV is keep a concordance and saying quench. Well, you don't quench a smoldering wick. That simply makes no sense. The CSB is you put out a smoldering wick. The NRSV, interestingly, you quench a smoldering wick, not English. Net Bible extinguish. And the NLT is you put out a flickering candle. Matthew 25, 8. Notice that these are the lamps are being quenched. They're going out, going out, going out. And that's the ESV. It didn't keep concordance there because it really would not make any sense. Going out, going out, going out, going out. Well, and that's what the word actually means. In Mark 9, 48, speaking of hell, you say the fire is not quenched. Well, it's not quenched, although most people go with that. It's extinguished. It's put out. It, in this case, it never goes out. So can you quench a fire? I don't think so. Ephesians 6.16, dealing with the flaming arrows from Satan, extinguish all the way across, except, again, the NRSV, which does stick to older language a little more often. It's you extinguish the flaming arrows. Then we have our verse, 1 Thessalonians 5.19, and finally, Hebrews 11.34, you have, again, the whole issue, what do you do with flames? Well, NIV says you quench them, as does everyone else. So we certainly quench our thirst. And people seem to be comfortable with quenching a fire. I would never say that. But in all these other uses, I just don't think the word means anything anymore. But I will tell you from personal experience, when there's a famous verse, there's a little bit of pressure to maintain connection with uh, King James. And I've got to think that's what's going on here. So I guess the next time you go out camping and your fire gets out of control, you better have something to quench your fire because you can't quench a forest fire. I guess you can get buckets of water under an airplane and dump it on it, but that's not called quenching. <laughs>